part two, uh, now that you have created your account, I'm going to show you how to log in to your account and create your first class and um, assign users to your class. So go ahead and type in your account username and password, then log in. Now your home page, your home page will look very similar to what is um, what I have up here. You have tabs at the top, my classes, my tests, my account. Okay, make sure that you're logged into your account by checking, make sure your name is up there at the top. And then go to my classes. This is where you're going to create your classes and assign your students. As you notice, I have already um, six classes started. Okay, I'm going to go down here to the bottom of my screen and where it says create new class, I'm going to create a new class. I'm going to give this a real generic name. I'm going to call it class 3. And then hit create class. You might want to be more specific in your name so that you understand what class goes with what students. And then just click create class. And now your class has been created. I'm in class 3. And from class 3 I want to add some students to this. So I'm going to go down here to Administer Learners. I'm going to click on that tab. It's going to take me to my registration page. Now before I start registering students, I have to open accounts for those students or slots so that they can enter the class. Without any open slots, I can't register any um, users. You have 1,000 available slots. So go down here to the very bottom and you can see that I've used 881 of my slots or excuse me I have 881 slots left so I'm going to go down here and I'm going to add two slots now whenever you add the slots to your class add as many slots as, as you need for that your number of students since this is just a demonstration I'm only going to do two slots because I'm going to show you two different ways to register students so I'm going to put, pick two and then hit go and now it's now it's opened up two slots for in this class I'm going to show you two different ways to register your users the first way is the manual way this is a way that you can do it manually to register your students I don't really like this way because um, it's cumbersome for me to sit here and register all of my students um, so I'm going to show you a second way that's um, a lot easier where the students register themselves but the first way that you might want to choose this way is to go ahead and create a first and last name for your um, your users now I give my students a fake first and last name I give them um, our team name and I give them a number so for example I'm going to register croc 679 Okay, and that's my first name. My last name is going to be Croc679. And my learner email is going to be Croc679. And you don't have to put in a real email. I want to explain that. You don't have to put in a real email. It's going to e the only reason you need to put in your email is because um, one of the students forgets their password. But you're already going to have their passwords because you're going to have them give you your, their passwords so that you can write them down and have them so that if they do forget it, um, you'll have access to it. So I'm going to do croc 669 or 679 at, and I'm just going to put our extension in for our school system, and it's going to create a fake account for them but it, they'll be able to access it because they'll have their username and password and then just click register learner and we have successfully registered this student into our class now it gives the students a username and password make sure you write this down for your um, students so that they have it and also give it to them because they're going to use this username and password to enter their class and I'm gonna write that down real quick okay now the second way that we can 
register our students and I, I feel it's the easier way because the students are doing all the work is to go down here to where it says view available registration codes what you're going to do is come up you're going to click on this link and it's going to create codes for your students okay and you all you have to do is cut out each of these codes and give a code to a student and then when they use when they register they're just going to put in the the registration code so I'm going to go ahead and copy this registration code so I don't have to memorize it or write it down okay and then I'm going to get go and head and log out to show you um, from the beginning how students will register so I'm going to go here to home now back to the home page okay what students are going to do from here maybe take them to a computer lab give them a registration code give them this um, URL ad address and just walk them through the steps click on free registration and we want to do learner registration so click on learner registration and now the registration code this is where the students are going to type in the registration code and they have to create a username I'm going to create a username for my um, fake student that I'm registering. We're going to make this 680. I'm going to create a fake or excuse me, I'm going to create a password for this student that I'm registering. Now, my first name, I'm just going to keep it as the same thing that I've been using as my username and I'm going to keep it as my last name as well. Okay, this just helps protect the identity of your students. You really don't want to use their real names. Okay, the country, United States, um, email address. Okay, we can just create anything here. I'm just going to use the registration code. Just paste that, and I'm going to use our school extension. Okay and then we have to retype it. Students can copy and paste the one from above if they would like. And then click register me. And once you're done, it'll say that you are have been registered.